this is the bat hound sniffing at the best asa softball bats there are today i'm here to bring you an initial swings bat review of the 2022 monster black sheep balanced this bat has zero swings on it today before we get started here's a quick look at a product i'll be using today in my opinion, the green pitching machine by Pop Toss is one of the best inventions for the slow pitch softball world. As you can tell by the name of the product, it is a pitching machine that launches 12 inch softballs and you don't need batteries, you don't need electricity, and it comes with a lifetime warranty. My family purchased one of these for me in 2018 for my birthday and I've loved it since day one. It's a great product to have if you want more live batting practice and you don't have a pitcher to throw to you. Down below, you'll notice the link where you can purchase one of these. Be sure to use my affiliate code LIVEBP and save $8. As well as if you're looking for more information, you can check out my other reviews that I've done uh, in the links down below of this fantastic product. That was swing number one for the Black Sheep Balance. It got it. We got the uh, pavement out there at 300. Uh, this is a two piece bat. For ASA only. This is only for the low compression balls, the 52 300. That away! That got it! Now, the pop toss, you can adjust the timer up to 30 seconds. I like to get a workout, so I, you know, I'm running back and forth. Come on, Black Sheep Allen! Oh, I tell you what, right out of the wrap, I had a feeling fantastic. That one was just short. Uh, here's the Black Sheep Balance from last year. This one has a lot more swings on it. I'll take some swings with this one as well in just a minute but you know these are tough to find the black sheep balance seems like the folks that use them they just don't sell them so this is right out of the bat that is feeling nice this black sheep comes in a balance like this uh it also uh comes in, in an end loaded which i don't have any of those here right now uh but then there's also uh like the the fallout is essentially the same bat in a mid load At least that's my understanding. Feel free to correct me if that's wrong. So personally, I have liked uh, the balanced and the end loaded better than the, the mid loaded. I just seem to get less knuckle balls uh, with it. Now this uh, this one comes in the 3500 to 3900, I believe would be the flex. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on, on the camera there, but uh, for these monster bats, uh, these newer serial numbers, whatever it starts out with, will tell you the flex of the handle. So you can see on this one, it's easier to see. Uh, it starts with a two, that makes it a 2500. So this would be the 3500 or the 3900. And you just kinda gotta check which one that is. But it's a stiff handle. It's gonna have the, the normal handle knob just sort of like a mid-range in terms of width. That a weight, Black Sheep. That's feeling fantastic. I love that wood grain on there, so a great look. That's just very fun. Fun looking bat. In terms of sound, uh, you know, it's gonna sound great. Uh, we'll, we'll take a swing here with the uh, Black Sheep from last year balance. See how this one sounds. The unloaded model gets a real good clack to it for a while. That's got some good sound. That one got it. Boy, I'll take a couple more swings. That felt fantastic. I don't know if it was that much farther than that one. So the sound is good. Uh, it definitely feels like it swings balanced. So if you're looking for a balanced bat, Oh, just shy. I mean, this this has got to be uh, either my favorite or close to my favorite uh, of balanced bats out there right now. It definitely feels balanced. 
uh, like the DeMarini Mercy feels balanced to me. Uh, that torch light balanced. Uh, you know, there was that backlash, uh, uh, Suncoast backlash uh, a couple years ago that was balanced. That felt like it. So sometimes, you know, it, sometimes bats are advertised where they don't really feel balanced or they don't feel end loaded. Uh, this feels uh, balanced to me. Now this one is a 25 ounce. Both of these are 25 ounce. They come in a little bit over sticker. 25.4 on uh, the scale. This one's 25.6. So, great, thanks. Uh, I meant to check his name before, but uh, I believe I got this one from uh, Jose Rivera, uh, who goes by Mookie on uh, Facebook. So if you're ever looking to purchase a bat from him, I would not hesitate. Thank you for this, buddy. I really tell you, you really feel like you're gonna be able to whip through the zone because with that balanced feel on that, uh, the, the barrel feels pretty soft already. I'm assuming it's going to soften up more with like that one there, but this is feeling great already. Like I said, these are, these are not always easy to find. The people that seem to, to pick them up, swing them, they don't let them go. So in terms of performance, I mean, I'm, I would expect that this bat's going to perform really well. Uh, I, like I said, personally, I prefer the end loaded model. Uh, see, like this year, there's a couple repaints. The uh, GS Sports has the Monster 888, which is a black sheep end load. There is the black sheep end loaded model with the wood grain. I have that one as well. Uh, there's the uh, uh, Monster Warrior uh, Liz Kronicki's, uh signature bat. Uh, last year, there was the Return of the King that. Uh, actually has the highest uh, exit velocity for any ball off the tee that I've had, uh, 52 300 ball. But if you're liking a, looking for a balanced bat, it's a great place to go. Out of way! Got that one. Take a couple swings with the Unleashed. One of my gamers here, 25 ounce mid load sinister repaint. Just hops off that barrel. Out of way! Sure to check out the bathound.com where you find used bats, merch, recommended products, and more. There you are, nice solid line drive there. Come on, Unleash! Now, it definitely hops off this barrel real good, but that has 1,500, 2,000 swings on it. We'll do one more with uh, last year's Black Sheep Balance. You know, the great thing about these, uh, they will last a long time. Generally speaking, the Black Sheep is gonna take longer to break in, even though that's starting off pretty good. Still gonna take a time. Also, some one, one thing to note, sometimes you'll find with some of these monster bats, I don't find it with all of them, but some of them, it'll enter into the zone where it's just totally quiet. You know, it starts off pretty good, and then all of a sudden it seems like it's totally, totally dead. It's not doing anything. And that might just be the inner barrel break again. Just get a couple hundred more uh, swings on it, and it'll really change after that. It'll probably be louder, and it will be ready. Come on, black sheep, balance! Oh, that's feeling good. That one got it. All right, two more with the, this new one, and we'll wrap it up. One more here. Shy. Go for the longest of the day here. Oh, 
We got to give it one more. It can't end like that, even though it was a solid, solid line drive. Ah, oh, we got to end it there. Well, there you have it. Black Sheep, uh, feeling fantastic. Again, you're going to have to get a lot more swings on it, but it should be there. I was very happy with it last year. Expecting this one to get there as well. Feel free to leave any questions, comments down below. This is the Bad Hound. Everyone signing up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel up here. Check out some other videos up here and down here. Thanks, everybody.